What up guys, I've, it's been a while, but I'm back. Uh, I've literally been doing absolutely not a single thing with this Corona stuff. It's been shut down, everything shut down. I haven't done a single thing. Well, as you guys know, I was waiting to weld some pipes over at my buddy Jake's, but some things have happened. So uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, yeah, I've got some new decals for the car. I got rid of the uh, 351 was my old number. I thought that was a little bit, I don't know, kind of cliche. Uh, I went with the lime green to make it get some pop. I also got, here we go. I don't know if you can read that, but like speed shed. That way when I gap fools, they'll know, they'll know what happened. So here is what happened. I've been waiting weeks on this thing and here it is. It finally came in the mail. I have been stimulated by Mr. Mr. Donald J. Trump. He bought me this because <laughs> I sold Jake my old a my old AHP Alpha Tig, so I decided to kind of upgrade to the Lincoln. Uh, the Lincoln has less features than the AHP, but you're buying, you know, a legacy name brand welder that has warranty and you can take to any weld shop and have it repaired pretty much no questions asked and you're buying a lincoln you know it's like it's going to hold its value over a chinese unit which i don't even know if these are technically made in america that might be made in mexico or canada or something hell i don't know so we're going to test that baby out and uh that way i can fab up all my own stuff again i hate borrowing stuff and uh yeah this thing's going to be sweet I'll go over a couple quick things on this welder. I'm not going to go crazy in depth, but because there's plenty of reviews on YouTube on these. But from a guy who's had an AHP to now this, which I don't have a ton of experience on, but I, I have ran a couple beads on some stuff and it's working really well. Um, like I said, this has less features than the AHP. It does, uh, you could, it does AC and DC and stick. Who needs stick? But... It can do pulse. The pulse is not as sophisticated. It's basically just a on off timer. <clears throat> I don't really use pulse, so I don't really care. You can adjust the AC balance and the AC frequency on this. You can do that on the AHP, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, this welder, if you don't know much about TIGging, it will weld aluminum and mild steel slash stainless steel. Uh, just the consumer, just from looking at this and feeling like all the things, uh, this welder is so much higher quality than the AHP. Like you can just feel like when a good quality wire, it's hard to describe. Like they don't feel like hard plasticky. They're like actually rubber with good copper line in there. You can really feel it. So just the leads and everything are a million times better. Uh, the flex torch on this is a lot nicer the other one was just hard junk plastic this one's a lot beefier this is a flex head torch i went ahead and put a gas lens on here i hate the normal call it style uh ends that come on here this is a flex torch too so um let's see the things i don't like so far is it comes with this little regulator it's not horrible the AHP actually comes with a flow gauge, which I like better with a little ball in there that moves up and down. You can really dial it in real, really good. This one will work fine for now, but uh, I'd like to get a dual one anyway if you got to do back purging for stainless. But uh, so far it's, uh, let's see. Oh, the major thing, the only major thing I don't like about this particular machine is the post flow. I don't care about pre-flow. Yeah, that's not a huge deal, but uh, the post flow on this is fixed to amperage. Like say you run really low amperage, it's gonna run for like, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then you run 200 amps, it's gonna run for like 18 seconds, which is just, when you're doing aluminum, you don't really need that much gas flow. So it's just burning through the tank. Versus the AHP, it has adjustable post flow knob where you can just turn it to whatever you want. So that's nice. But, uh, oh yeah, and the pedal. The pedal on this is a, professional pedal uh it's actually lincoln's brand uh yeah it's a million times better the other one is just like a it's tiny and you just press it down and it slid all over the place this is like this one's not going nowhere it's a thousand times better uh i do know that the new ahps 
and uh, like Prime Weld and some other Chinese welders, uh, they do come with a better pedal now. So, yeah, you're just, this is just overall a nicer quality machine. Uh, not dogging the Chinese welders. They do work. It's just how, how long will they work until they break? So, uh, this was considerably more. This was 1800 bucks basically, which is not no chump change for me anyway. Um, this isn't like a crazy industrial welder. This is a hobbyist machine. This is not going to do like super, super heavy half, like three quarter inch thick material. This is just for, you know, quarter inch, eighth inch material, probably up to a half an inch, which when you're building race car stuff, that's all you do anyway. So it's going to work perfect for me. So yeah, I'm really stoked on this machine. So yeah, let's get to welding up some parts. Sorry guys, right there is when my battery died on my GoPro and so I had to charge it for a while, but I went ahead and just did everything. So we got a lot done here. Just, there's the pipe, how it turned out. Uh, like I said, I'm not the greatest with aluminum. I need a lot more practice, but uh, it looked pretty good. Turned out good. Um, yeah, I went ahead and made mounts for the uh, intercooler. I welded the, the bungs on them, the threaded bungs. So this is nice and solid. It's not going nowhere. Uh, yeah, everything's done other than I just need water lines and so here's how everything looks. It turned out really good, I think. It, uh, it all fits under the hood, fits under the bumper. Nice and tucked, pretty clean. It just looks a lot better than what it did before, so. Yeah, uh, I'll get some water lines going and we'll be done with this, so just stick around and uh, yeah, then we'll be done. We'll get some test drives done. I don't know when or if the tracks will be open this year or not with the whole virus bull crap. But so yeah, if you like these videos, I could care less if you hit the sub or not. <laughs> Most people say subscribe, but you know, like whatever, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Either you like this shit or you don't. Peace.